there are a lot of different buttons and knobs you can play with in this music editor. The sprites here at the top represent different musical instruments that you can place at different notes on the staff. The percussion or drum noises are represented by this explosion looking sprite. You can place them on different notes and they'll give you different drum sounds. You can change the duration of any note by placing it on the staff and then dragging this blue bar over. Using the eraser tool, you can delete any note or simply click on the note again. You can specify sharps and flats by pressing the control key on the keyboard and then clicking. And you'll notice that it gives you a purple outline here. If I click again, I'll get a sharp. If I click again, I'll get a flat. Use the drop down grid at the top to specify the default note duration. So you can see my default here is an eighth note. So there will be eight notes per measure but you can change this to quarter notes or 16th notes, whatever you would like. You can also add more measures down here at the bottom. So by default, there are two measures of music to your song, but you can add as many as you'd like. And then feel free to add a bass clef to your song and you can add more music down here. To see what your song sounds like, click on this play button down here at the bottom left. Here you can change the tempo of your song. So for example, if I want my song to go faster. And you can also change it to be looping. When you're done with your song, you can give it a name. and then it will show up in the assets gallery of your project.